So if there's no happy and healthy life, great, awesome, good, fantastic, super, leave me alone. And that's the problem. When a person gets too far into their chemicals, then they get a different view of the world. They believe that there is different stuff happening on earth now. Mysteriousness. Stuff Carl Jung would draw in the Red Book. Huge plates. Mystics would have these visionary thoughts. The woman down the hall, the woman over there, would, the man, no. They can have a perfect, complete, and correct world they make with their self their self their self knows the self over there and the self over there knows the self up the self down the self across the self diagonal and even the self in the landlord's office and all these cells are like the chemicals in the cells in the body going as fast as me talking now going as fast as what i do each day trying to make so many rituals. I don't have to stare at their faces and their eyes and look at their dirty teeth anymore. Smell the liquor on their breath and the tobacco from their mouth, from their tongue. So I can go visit a friend over there. So I can have fun with the people that still are normal. Spontaneous folks. But describe what I'm talking about a thousand different ways with your simulation theory, the video game idea theory. And they all go in the same direction. Rats in a maze. They get to the maze, they get to the stimulus. And the reward is nobody fights, nobody argues, nobody falls in love, nobody messes with each other. Everyone has an order. The big, strong, the thuggish. The muffin baking woman with the sweet smell in the hall. The second floor man who's got family from a world war. And the woman with so much decorations and so much anger in her eyes towards me I can almost smell the eggs from her crotch. From all the drugs the woman's done in her lifetime. All the abuse that she's done to her brain, her mind, and her body. And have to still have the courage, the strength, and the honor to not say, you're making a mistake. And your mistake might cost the life of some young person in the future. And no matter how much you hate the future, no matter how much you think you know what's going to happen in the future, you better be prepared when some little baby doesn't have a doctor like me. Some family has to go home with the casket. All for the satisfaction of chemical now. Chemical next now. Chemical next next now 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 now. Chemical.
There's no way to be a doctor. There is no way to say to anybody with a straight face, I want to be a pediatric neurologist and a surgeon to cure cancer and not have the guts, the brain and the mind to not look down in sadness when they don't even care. When they go to the next and the next and find some other folks who will give them some sort of benefit chemically. These aren't all drug addicts. Chemical junkies work at Amazon, Facebook, Google, Microsoft. They spend thousands and they spend hundreds on rent, millions on houses for the sake of their safety, their security, and the knowing socially. The model I'm talking about has more to do with violence, rage, emotions, and not what His Holiness the Dalai Lama calls compassion. Not what religious folks have called forever as joy. They are worried they're gonna get hurt and they're not helping people figure out how not to hurt people. We're not bears. Bears eat their cubs when they come out of hibernation because they don't have a brain, a mind, and a body. They got a mouth and a stomach. And they got claws and teeth. Humans can go to the UW library where I go. They can go to Amazon where I've gone. They can go wherever they need to to learn about what they're imagining. The imagining, the hypothetical, theoretical sharing of consciousness and unseen forces and trippy images and thinking are called hormones, chemicals. A story someone's working on, a painting being constructed. In other words, the world has chosen aliens, has chosen this psychedelic mentality and this philosophy, declaring neuroscience ineffective, and the rest of science for that matter, to make all lives matter, to make black lives matter, to make equality. And all the while time passes, the roaring 20s, the 1700s with revolution, and now, 2020, the 2000s. You can make 100 years, you can make a year, you can make five days, you can make 10 seconds. The person who chooses a hundred years to live like an alien wants the chemicals. The person who chooses 10 seconds wants to get to the operating room and save a life.
the person who chooses an hour has to prepare to go sit down with a parent and a child with the baby being diagnosed with Cordoma and say, we've got therapies, we've got drugs, we've got surgery, but we still haven't cured cancer. And the long-term prognosis might only be a few years. But chemical junkies can live fat, they can live overweight, they can live obese, miserable, and excited. They can eat nothing, they can say no words of introduction, and they can just stare. They can watch the flashlight. They can let their dog shake their freaking hair everywhere. They can go make a friend downstairs who will back them up, support them, and keep them safe and secure. And eventually, the lungs die from cigarettes the brain seizes up and has a stroke from tripping out, imagining everybody's consciousness as the person's own. The person dies and has death and uncertainty to face after the heart stops. The person who thinks, the person who treats their mind, their brain, and their body with respect and honor. Don't say shit through walls and doors and hallways so everyone can hear it in the building. They make friends these kind of people make friends and support processes and don't get involved with systems. They're called friendly, nice, fun to smoke a joint with, fun to have a beer with on the roof, fun to drink coffee with on the patio outside. And don't have chemicals during pandemics and coronavirus. And don't have a service animal to get the body relaxed for the owner of the service animal during an earthquake. These are the United States Army. These are the United States Navy. These are military, these are police. These are the people my social worker says, what are you doing? Why would all the blue lives matter? They're mean, they got guns, they stand up straight and they walk tall. And so have you ever thought, who would you want beside you in a natural disaster. The service animal fat-breasted woman who just stares at a flashlight or the fast-moving, fast-thinking, survival-minded, friendly person. 